Welcome Libra to your weekly love tarot readings. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. So as always, the readings that I'm going to be doing here today are going to be a general tarot read. And uh, what this means is it probably won't resonate with everyone watching in that instance. Please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Let's go ahead and um, take a look at the energies, the, the messages and the energies the reading has for you here. Okay, what's incoming for you in terms of love here, Libra? What messages do we have for you here? So the spread here is intended for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And for our cross watching buddies as well. Okay, so here we have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and lastly, the Queen of Wands. Okay. The Nine of Cups, this is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. There is someone here. This is the uh, Law of Attraction card, okay, of the Tarot deck. This is um, someone here I feel like is um, want, is wishing for you, is, is either wishing that you may, that you will reach out and connect with them, you will reach out and talk, especially if you guys haven't been talking or haven't been communicating, if they've been acting a little bit distant, uh, they're hoping that you, you'll be the one to reach out, you'll be the one to break the silence um, and reach out here. For others, I feel like this is someone whom you might have ended things with completely, okay? And this tells me the fact that the page of swords, his body language is, um, well, his head and his... Uh, uh, most of his body is being turned in one direction, but the sword that he points upwards is being turned in another. So I feel like there there is a connection here that might have ended here. But I feel like a part of this person, a part of them, sorry, still wants your Libra. Or perhaps this is you because this is your energy, okay? Uh, there is a part of you that may want, um, that may want to... Reconnect with someone here with a possible water sign or a possible strong fire sign here an Aries, a Leo or a Sag. Okay, to me, I feel like things have ended a little bit quickly or maybe they've ended a little bit um, Like not clearly here. It seems as though Things ended abruptly is what I mean. Okay, it's like you've never really had a proper explanation or maybe when things ended, you were always under the impression that the two of you will reunite, the two of you will make it work, um, you'll come out of this, okay? But it seems as though right now, this person is withholding communication from you, okay? Or you're not talking to this person here. They are still thinking about you though, okay? I do get a sense that with the Nine of Cups, this is someone who is... Someone who still thinks about you, and I feel like someone this this is someone who still wants you here. Of course, the energies could be reversed, and it could be that you're the one that's still wanting this person. Okay, maybe you're wanting for things to go back to how they were. Due to the swiftness of these ones here in the Eight of Wands, I feel like it does suggest to us here that a connection here. Someone feels a connection here has ended very quickly, very quickly, very abruptly, or it ended um, unexpectedly, okay? You didn't expect the outcome here. For others, there is a positive spin to this with the Nine of Cups here and the Eight of Wands. Something that you are manifesting here, Libra, okay, is going to come in very quickly for you. So if you have been thinking about someone and if you've been wanting to connect with this person, but for whatever reason, I feel like you're not doing this, you're not connecting. Um, is, it, is it due to the fact that you feel things will be awkward when you guys will connect? Is it because um, you were the one to end things and as a result, you don't want to be the one to reach out again? Uh, or is it because you don't know what to say, you don't know how they will uh, uh, you don't know how they will feel. You don't know how they will respond. Um, 
I just feel like, yeah, you, for some reason you're holding back communication despite still having a very strong desire here to communicate with this person, okay? There is a strong desire here to communicate with this person. Now, of course, the energies are reversible, so this person here, a strong water sign or a strong fire sign here, may have a desire to communicate with you here. So... I'm getting a sense for a lot of you that here you are, you're wanting to connect, reconnect with someone, reestablish a connection here, or just at least, you know, in my simplistic form here, you just want to reach out and talk to them, get their attention, or have them at least respond to your message here. So whatever it is that you've been wanting to manifest here, I feel like this is going to come in very quickly, and it's almost going to catch you off guard here, okay? With the Eight of Wands, this is swift communication here as well. Perhaps if you have been trying to connect with your special someone here and they haven't been very responsive, perhaps during this week you'll find that this person is going to, um, they're going to like flood you with a lot of, uh, a lot of communication here. All of a sudden you'll find that there is, they're going to open up here and unleash a lot of uh, communication here, like months or weeks worth of communication all of a sudden. They've got a lot of things that they want to say, a lot of things that they want to get off their chest here, Libra. Okay, and of course it could be you. Maybe you're the one that's uh, firing all these uh, arrows at them, okay? But I like the blue setting here in the background because I feel like someone here, take a look at the contrast here, okay? With the page of wands, look at the setting here. It's very, the sky's uh, crowded with all these clouds. This denotes a lack of clarity, okay? This is someone who is wanting to say something but can't string their words together or don't know how to say it um, or, you know, uncomfortable in saying it or holding back. And look at the eight of wands. Look at the swiftness of these arrows. More um, specifically, take a look at the background here, okay? It's clear. Someone's got mental clarity. Someone has arranged uh, their thought process here, okay? Uh, someone is following their train of thought. Um, they've got something to say and they're coming out and saying it. So for whatever reason, something he was holding someone back, it seems like they were blocked. It seems like um, they weren't able to communicate or express themselves. And with the aid of ones, bam, we have communication and a lot of it. So someone here is definitely reaching out. I feel like it's out of the blue and I feel like it's unexpected. It could be your energy, but I just feel like for a lot of you, Libra, I feel like this is someone whom um, you've been wanting to hear from, okay, someone whom you might have been uh, texting and they haven't been responsive or they haven't uh, uh, texted you back at all, um, and I feel like all of a sudden this week, out of the blue, like really unexpectedly, you'll hear from this person, and you'll hear very often, and they've got a lot to say. For someone who's been very silent... Or for someone who's been very, who's been keeping very quiet, they actually got um, a lot to get off their chest here. The Queen of Wands here um, also indicates rapidity here. Okay, something happening very quickly. Okay, so it's likely the two of you will start talking again. Okay, the two of you are going to start communicating again. Or it's likely that uh, things will start picking up, okay? And um, your communication will likely lead to you rekindling or reconnecting here with this person. Now, the Queen, Queen of Wands is someone who is in charge, okay? She's got this um, air of authority to her. She's, um, she's very confident here. She uses a lot of confidence. So what happens is some who, if it's, if this person is the one to communicate to you with you here, if they were the ones to reach out, you need to take charge of this connection, okay? You need to remember that it's not all about them, okay? For a lot of you, I feel like you're placing a lot of expectations upon them, okay? It's not all about them. You need to owe your role in this connection, okay? You need to owe what it is that you want from this connection and which direction you want to take this. Because the Queen of Wands is someone who is in control of her own destiny. So you need to own that here, guys. Alright, and that pretty much sums up your spread. As always, thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, by liking, commenting, or even sharing. For those of you that do want a reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you next week.